Good morning and welcome to Daily Prayers on Thursday. I'm continuing to use the reflections on the theme of failure from the Church of England's Lent Resources, Dust and Glory. As I record this, um, I thought I would share with you one of my failures. It's ten years today since I went to my first interview to be ordained. It didn't go well. Actually, it was an abject failure. It was very difficult at the time to see how I had any prospect of becoming a minister after that. But I still had a very strong sense of a call from God, but which the Church of England disputed in the strongest possible terms but somehow despite that failure of an interview God has got me here in spite of what seemed to be a very unalterable situation if any of you are in a similar situation um, I hope that might have um, provided some encouragement. Let's approach God in worship now. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. From one calling to another. um, Our reading is taken from Genesis chapter 12, verses 1 to 4. The Lord said to Abraham, Abram, sorry, go from your country, your people and your father's household to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you. I will make your name great and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and whoever curses you I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Abram was t- 75 years old when he set out from Haran. So this is Emma Einstein's reflection. Sometimes failure is actually a very good thing. It means we have taken a chance to try something new, that we've been bold and taken risks And sometimes we have to take the right risks for the right reasons. Otherwise we would never move forward, learn new things or develop new relationships. Maybe we won't get it right the first time or the first hundred times, but each time we will be a little closer. Abraham takes big risks in leaving his country, his people and his homeland, and he makes plenty of mistakes as well. God doesn't expect us to be perfect on the journey. He just wants us to go with him. Sometimes trying things that might fail is to be encouraged. How can you put this into practice in your own life? Now we come to a time of prayer. Let's pray for those dealing with the disappointment from some apparent failure, trying to discern a way forward, as well as anyone else on our heart. Our Father in heaven, 
hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. And the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.